Well, hello, Iron Bill back again. It's hard to believe it's been a f another week since I've uh, recorded. It's, man, time just gets away from me right now. And uh, I'd like to start off, of course, with my sponsorship, Diet Coke. They don't really sponsor me, but someday they'll break down. Mmm. Diet Coke, taste of an older generation. Also, um, this past weekend was Father's Day weekend, and my daughter... A future son-in-law and other daughter bought me some LED lights and I don't know if you can see those or not got to decide how to, to, to use those to spruce up the place but uh, there are a few of my my uh, viewers occasionally <laughs> I wouldn't say dedicated but they do watch once in a while eh, this game's not really their thing so uh, not so much um, Tonight, I wanted to show you the expunged Tartarus in under six minutes. Uh, I think I uh, got some inspiration on this from Error. He's a streamer. You can uh, check him out on YouTube. He, he puts out a lot of good informational videos. Uh, one of many. Ibantus is another great one. Um, guys that, that show you ex exactly how to do things. And uh, yeah, anyway, so uh, my setup here is uh, I'm Hunter and I'm, I'm going Golden Gun. And I was six shooter on this, although I didn't intend to do that. It, it worked out. I also uh, am going to switch between the Whispering Slab and um, the my Chroma Rush. There we go. That, that's what it was. Uh, aside from that, and the energy slot is the uh, Salvager Salvo, and then of course I'm running Anarchy for the Heavy. I am running the uh, Grenade Launcher mods for this. Um, the idea of this particular one is, of course, to get it under uh, six minutes, and to do that you're just going to have to bypass a lot of stuff as much as you can. So um, I've only saved a five minute clip, you don't really need to see the beginning up to this point in time this is super familiar uh let me just run it from here and you'll see it as it moves along <clears throat> this is very early on uh before i've even gotten through the the first zone and you see how awkward my platforming is here but what i'm trying not to do is get kicked off the ledge by those scissoring uh items there and i'm doing more up and down than forward but I'm into the rhythm now, and that actually timed out pretty well because you want to land on that bridge right as the door comes down because then you know if you just keep going and jump out, you're going to make it. I would go ahead and open this particular key here. That's going to open some things up for you. And we're going to move on. So here we go. I thought I could hear something. It's my headphones there. I can hear my uh, audio, gameplay audio over that. Anyway, off we go. Now, you, you need to do this enough times that you know where everything is. Once you know where everything is, it moves pretty quickly. This one has three cubes that you have to shoot. You have to get your uh, stabilized security access up enough so that you can run over here and take the two shots that you need. And uh, the Whispering Slab, by the way, is a one shot. You notice I'm not avoiding the... Uh, fields at all because I have my gauntlet fully upgraded they really can't kill me I mean it, it, it makes you feel that way because of the uh, static that it puts out but it really it won't okay so I shoot that one on top that one below then jump over this platform and you can get the others from here so there's this one slide over here a little bit there's this one and you know as slow as I'm going I'm still getting them all all right I cannot tell you how many times I've gotten in a hurry here and over jumped this and so you see me making sure I do not. A death is what you don't want. Uh, deaths cost you 15 to 20 seconds. And, you know, rushing your shots here also take more time. And you'll see me do that here again. The Salvador Salvo will kill stuff in a hurry, but you have to hit. And I'm just not taking my time uh, to place my shots well enough. I got the cleanup on that one. All right, so there's one down. But I can't take the other one down until I take the other Minotaur down. And watch this. Point blank, miss it. And miss it again. Well, I thought I missed it again. So, yeah. There's that. This is taking entirely too long. But I had to get my buff again. I don't have to kill the, the uh, uh, champion there. I have to kill the Minotaur. And once I do that, I can step over here. And I thought I was on the ledge. And I wasn't. And it's just really awkward. Look at that. How many shots I'm missing. And I still get it. 
you can do if if I can do this, you can do this. That's all I can say. All right, so we've got one more champion down here. We really don't have to get him. I'm going to knock down a couple of these guys. <clears throat> Go ahead and knock the key down or the cube, and I'm just going to run past him. Don't need to kill him, and that takes time that I don't have at this point in time. We're right at 355 at this point. I get contained. You can walk out of that, but two arrows will do it. Now, this is where I normally switch to my Chroma Rush, but I want to go ahead and get a couple grenade launchers on him and get him cooking. And I realize right now that I'm going to have to just go ahead and put whatever heat I can on him and, and let that cook him. I'm not too worried about him killing me at this point. All right, so I'm going to rush up here. I've got two Minotaurs, one on this side, one on the other side that ultimately I'll have to deal with. So I can knock these cubes down. We're at four and a half minutes. It's looking pretty good. I should have had my grenade launcher out there. I'm, I'm, see, I'm just wasting time. Now I have to wait for the shield to rotate. Golden gun. That should have already been done. All right. So he's, he's zoned up again. That's fine. I need to take care of these guys. That was taking a chance because he was right on top of me. That's how you do the uh, Salvador Salvo right there. Those two right there. That's when you're doing it right. That's what it looks like. All right. So now I'm taking a lot of heat from that one on the left. I need to take him down, which I just did. I'm now at 513. I know unless I die, I'm going to get this one. I know I'm going to get it at this point. It's a done deal. And I do what I should have done in the first place. I have it ready to go. And the reason I want the Chrome Rush is exactly that. I can fire right through the shield. You know, I have my gauntlet set up so that I can do that. And here we are at 538. He's done. And there it is. So, that's all there is to it. And you saw how clumsy I was with that. I mean, I really didn't look good at all. But I did get it done, and I got it done without dying. So, um, if this old man can do it, you can too. I want to thank you for watching. Um, thank you for supporting the channel. Uh, I should post more, and right now we're just kind of in a dead spot. Uh, story, by the way, though, isn't dead. Uh, there, there are some big things cooking <laughs> uh, in the next couple of weeks. It's going to get really interesting. And, and uh, on that note, um, there's a lot of discussion as to whether or not uh, Osiris is the bad guy. I'm not so sure. I'm not ready to jump on that bandwagon because they're they're making it too obvious that he is. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it actually works out in the end. Uh, Lakshmi is going to start an insurrection. That's obvious. And, you know, maybe it's her. So, who knows? Anyway, uh, once again, thank you for watching. This is Iron Bill, signing out.